I'm going to talk about casting in Java. Uh, casting, it sounds like something fancy, but it's not. It's really just converting from one data type into another data type. And you can do this with primitives like double or int, and you can do this with objects also. More about that later. But let's go through this very simple example. I have a double variable, it's a decimal variable, d, and it's 123.45, and I have an integer 5, and you know, of course, I can print out the value of i, which I did already, and it is 5. What I cannot do, and you certainly know this too, I cannot take a double value, d in this case, and stuff it into an integer and then hope to print out i. And if I compile this, you can see that I get an error already. And if I mouse over that, it says that these are incompatible types, possible lossy conversion from double to int. In other words, Java does not like to lose information, does not like to lose values there. And so uh, by trying to stick this double into an int, it would chop off the decimal. So it does not like that. However, if you tell Java, hey, this is what I intend to do. I want you to treat this thing or convert this thing into an integer by casting. It, Java will permit that. So here I'm saying, hey, cast this thing or convert this thing into an integer and then stick it into this value i, into this integer i. So if I uh, compile it and run it, it runs and I get the value 123. Notice the 0.45 was chopped off. And actually, I could even put like 0.99 just to show you this is not a rounding function. This is a truncation function. If I hit compile and run it again, I still get 123. In other words, converting from a double to an int chops off the decimals. So that's how you can, that's how you can convert between data types in Java. Now, if I go the other way, as I have down here, if I have an integer value, 123, and I, let's say, want to take that integer value and stuff it into this double, that's not a problem. And you already know what Java does. If I run this, it just sticks on a point zero, right? I'm not losing any precision here, right? I mean, I can, uh, it just says, well, all right, I guess the guy wants to take this integer value and put it into a double. I'm just going to add on a point zero. Now, you could, if you wanted to, say, hey, I'm converting this into a double but it's not necessary. Java will do that for you. It just does not like it when you inadvertently try to truncate, you know, lose, lose uh, precision there. All right, moving on. Um, so here I have two integers and you know what happens, I think, if I just can, if I just, actually, I'm gonna do a third case. This is really, yeah, mm. all right. Here's my third case. I am just going to write out the value of a divided by b, and I think you know what would happen in this case. This, uh, these are integers, and I will in fact get integer division. So 10, which is a, divided by four should give me a two. And now these next two cases you might not know. Now, of course, just to be sure we're on the same page here, 10, 10 divided by four, is 2.5, but this first case should give me a two because when you divide integers, it will automatically truncate. It gives you the whole number part. So the question is, what does it do in these two cases? Are they the same? Are they different? Here I'm converting the division to a double. And let's maybe, let's just run the thing. The suspense is killing me here. All right, so if I run this, you see that I get the value two. The first case I think is what you expected. It does the integer division and truncates. The second case, maybe you're thinking, wait a minute, I'm converting this to a double, so how come I'm not, I'm not getting 2.5? The reason that you're not is because of the parentheses. I'm actually doing the division first, and then it converts it to a double. So in fact, the answer to this is two, and then it says, oh, the guy wants to make it a double, I'll make it 2.0. In this third case, which is perhaps the case that you want, it, uh, because of the parentheses or lack of in this case, it is taking the value a, converting it to a double. So a is now 10.0. And as long as one of the values in this, uh, in, a, in a, any kind of uh, mathematical operation, as long as one of them is a double, it will treat the rest of them like double. So it says 10.0 divided by four. It says, hey, one of them is a double. I'm going to give a double answer and I get the value 2.5. Hopefully that makes sense. The point is, 
Be careful about if you're trying to convert an answer to a double to get the whole value, be careful about the order of operations and how you're dealing with parentheses. So again, I'm converting A to a double, and then when I do the division, my answer is a double. Here, the division happens first, and then it gets converted. That's why I lose the precision. All right, hopefully that makes sense with casting. And ooh, the very last thing, slightly different topic, but it seemed to sort of go here. I'm declaring constants. Now you have not seen this before, but here it is. So a constant, uh, in other words, a, a constant is a value which does not change, like pi, for example. Uh, a, a constant is indicated by using the keyword final. So here I have a double named pi, the name of it is pi, and it's 3.14159. I could go a whole bunch more places, but in this case, I'm just going that many. So I have a double called pi, and by using the keyword final, it indicates to Java that this is not permitted to be changed anywhere else in the program. Uh, so here I have a final called pi, here I have a final string, teacher, Mr. Haas, and you know, this programming style, usually people write uh, uh, constants or finals using all caps, so that's why I wrote them in all caps. You don't have to, but that's typically what's done. And if I compile this, you will see that I, I get an error. Well, I, you know, it hasn't shows me the error already, but if I mouse over this, you can see that it says, you cannot assign a value to a final variable. In other words, you cannot change the value of a final. So this is illegal. I'm not allowed to increment a final or I'm not allowed to change the name of the teacher. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you, when you declare a final, you must give it an initial value, which kind of makes sense. I mean, I, if I say final double pi, I have to set it equal to something initially because you can't do it later on, it's a final, right? So that makes sense. So that's, that's all there is to constants. You use the keyword final, you, you declare it just like any other variable, but you cannot change it. And that's it, quick video, all right.